European Union leaders meeting in Brussels on Friday backed plans to buy gas jointly and won a pledge from the US to supply them with more liquefied natural gas, or LNG. Both steps are aimed at helping the bloc face an energy crunch heightened by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The US commitment to provide the European Union with additional at least 15 billion cubic meters of LNG this year is a big step in this direction because this will replace the LNG supply we currently receive from Russia. Von der Leyen said it is important for Europe to shift toward energy suppliers that are trustworthy, friendly and reliable. We're coming together to reduce Europe's dependence on Russian energy. Putin has issued Russia's energy resources to coerce and manipulate its neighbors. That's how he's used it. He's used the profits to drive his war machine. Almost 40 percent of the EU's natural gas comes from Russia and more than a quarter of its oil imports. The bloc is aiming to cut its dependency on Russian gas by two-thirds this year and end all Russian fossil fuel imports by 2027 due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Getting more LNG to Europe could be difficult. Since US plants are already producing at full capacity, analysts say most of the additional gas going to Europe would have to come from exports that would have gone to other parts of the world. And most new terminals in Europe are still only in the planning stages. Some leaders also call for market intervention. The prices today have nothing to do with reality and we're just ruining our population and ruining our public finances with those prices. And then I think we should intervene. I know that intervening in the market is not an easy thing to do, but we're at war. And in a situation at war, of war, I think we can take uh, extraordinary measures. Thank you. Kostemenes, NTD News.